Hi everybody, Father Bill, and uh, I'm recording this video two weeks in advance because I'm impressed by the fact that uh, today, or this weekend, as you will hear this, we will hear from the prophet Jeremiah where he was put into a cistern. He was taken uh, because he was prophesying that Babylon would overcome Israel. He was prophesying that uh, this com this country would come and take all those into exile. And the, the princes of uh, King Zedekiah were not happy with this because they felt that he was demoralizing them. And what did they do? They put him into a pit. They drew him into a cistern that had no water but just mud. And that's partly why I thought I'd, you know, do this video now. Because um, as I mentioned in last week's video, the reservoir of Prineville is really low. It's at 30% of volume. And if I walk too far out here, uh, there's mud there and I'll get stuck. So as I'm pondering on this, I'm looking at the wonderful, uh, what was normally an island. You can actually see this area here where the water has come down a whole bunch. But right over here was actually not land. This was all covered with water and that made this an island. And I really enjoyed that. When I was a um, <clears throat> newly ordained, I bought a kayak and uh, I came out here kayaked over to that um, island and was able to climb it. And it was just, it was joyful. It was wonderful. And it's sad to see the reservoir so low. It's sad when sometimes our hopes and dreams are things we like so much are not what they are or they are not anymore or they're temporarily not what they should be. Like this lake. Um, this is all supposed to be water right here. And the swim area is up in this area over here. Today we hear, though, in the psalm, which echoes, that our Lord will help us. He will lift us out of the pit, the cistern. It's an echo back to what Jeremiah, those who are connecting, you might see that. Those are echoing each other, where Jeremiah was put into a, a pit. Sometimes when we say the truth, we get penalized. Jeremiah was penalized for speaking what God had called him to speak and to prophesy, to warn everybody of the coming doom that would happen, and it did happen. It's known as the Babylonian exile. But the princes didn't like that, and so they, they went after him. That's tough stuff. Hmm? We're called as Catholic Christians to also to tell the truth to proclaim God's glory and his plan in our midst. The fact is we're all broken, even ourselves. That may deter us of wanting to share the gospel, but I want to encourage us, don't do that. Share the gospel. When we make mistakes, please ask for forgiveness. But as we hear from the gospel, Jesus said that he has not come to bring peace, but division. Now, yes, Christ is the Prince of Peace, and he wants us to, of course, have peace in our lives. But he also knows that when we stand up for the gospel, when we do not make the mores of the day of our crazy world, our standards for moral living or of decision making, when we decide that God is going to be number one and we dedicate ourselves to him, and we make our lives surround him, there will be division. Because not everybody's on the same same plan. Not everybody believes in God. Some people are very flat out antagonistic. Or particularly are antagonistic to Christians. Well, on a uh, more of a lightweight note, you know, I notice, I notice I'm wearing my beaver shirt. That's what I decided to pick up today or to wear today. Uh, even in sports, we're divided, huh? Some of you are duck fans. I like ducks too. I have family that are also part of uh, University of Oregon and graduates. But we uh, get along, my family. We're like platypuses is what we call ourselves. And we do our best to get along. So we still have differences. We try to help each other out. We try to um, listen to each other. I'm not always perfect in that myself. Sometimes I want to push my agenda or what I want and override somebody else. But see, we're called to serve others. 
the psalm not only says that he'll pick us out of a pit, the response is more of a cry, help me, O Lord. Help me, O Lord. When we're in trouble, when we're struggling, we need help. And the Lord can pick us up. Things will, you know, things may not change. That is, there may still be, phone's getting heavy. There still may be moments where people persecute us. They don't, they don't agree with us. They're choosing to live a way in which we can't agree. We're not going to celebrate. And yet we want to try to accompany them. We may not be able to always accompany them as they wish. Sometimes they want us to approve their lifestyle. Hey, I'm a sinner. I struggle in my own life. I have my stuff, my baggage. I'm constantly needing to ask for forgiveness. And I know God will. I go to confession. I hope you do too. And that you don't get stuck in that pit. The Lord will bring us out of that pit. He will raise us up. And even though our lives will be still drought around us, even though the water, <laughs> the water is is low. That sacrament. And of course, just asking for forgiveness, reconciling with our family or our friends can help us. It's a long road sometimes though. It may not happen right away. But it does happen. And God can bring us out of those situations and bring life back. Storms come, drought comes, financially, with our families, our relationships, friends, work. But do not give up. Do not give up. Our Lord is always there with us. And even though we are in difficult times, he will never leave us. Yes, we may be feeling like we're alone at times, and we are in the sense of sometimes with our friends, family that who have turned away. But continue, we need to continue loving them and encouraging them and telling them the truth. First, that God loves them no matter what. And that we love them, even if we disagree. Remember the homily a couple weeks ago. How do we love when we disagree? How do we love when we have differences? That's part art and part grace, huh? Maybe I might say part grace. Mostly grace. And a little bit of art on our side. Well, may God bless you. May this weekend give you the opportunity to find grace and hope in a time that may be difficult for you. May he pick you up out of your pit, out of the mud that's keeping you stuck. I hope to see you this weekend. God bless you all. Bye-bye.